it's Brittany at Ingleside Imaginarium and you are watching my daily Stitch Mania vlog for day 10 of Stitch Mania, May 10th. You can see Rhaegar sitting on this chair over here. This is his favorite place to sit in my parents' house. Um, he thinks it's his chair. I was sitting there stitching the other day um, because we had no electricity so I was next to the windows and he kept coming over like, what are you doing in my chair? That's my chair. Um, but I wanted to tell you a quick story about last night um, and that window. I was sitting and stitching at the kitchen table, which is that way, and um, our friend the fox returned. It was about 11.15 and I had headphones in and I heard it and I took it out and I was listening and it was so loud. I came up here to the French doors to try and find the fox. I couldn't find it and then it felt like it was coming right from the side of me. And I looked out and she was just outside that window. I'm calling this fox a, a female because I looked it up and it sounds like that screaming noise is mostly made by females looking for a mate. Um, and that males occasionally do it, but it's unsure of, of why. So I'm just going to, because she does it so often, I'm going to call it a, a lady fox, a vixen. Um, but yeah it was it was kind of cool because we kind of locked eyes or at least i was looking in her eyes i am um, the lights in here were on so they were reflecting off of the window and i couldn't get a picture so i tried to lift the the window just a little bit and she got spooked and she kind of stepped back and was looking at me and i was looking at her and then i opened up the window a little more and then she ran away i should have been content just to look but I wanted to share with you guys. So anyhow, I'll check back in with you soon with my tea of the day. All right, so I'm checking in with my tea of the day, May 10th. And this one is a blend based on my neighbor Totoro, specifically the character Totoro. So um, I drew a little picture of him while I was enjoying the tea. It's um. Because it's called Forest Friend, it has a whole bunch of natural, fruity, and flowery flavors like you could find in a forest. Um, it's pretty delicious so far, and I love that color. So, yeah, that's the tea of the day. Hello everybody, I am checking back in with you to tell you about my Stitch Mania project for today, May 10th. It is a new start, how exciting. Um, it is this project, in fact, the Witchy Stitchers, Wouldst Thou Like to Live Deliciously? And uh, this is a reference to a Black Philip, who is a big black goat from the movie The Witch, spelt the Vivich, uh, with two V's making the W. Um, I'm excited about this. I saw that movie, I really enjoyed it, and for whatever reason, I really liked the goat, and uh, I think this sampler is really cool. So I'm going to be stitching it on this fabric. It is a 28 count linen in strawberry swirl, and I'm going to be using Anchor Black for the black. And I am going to be using this uh, Carrie's Creation Hearts on Fire for the red, I think. You can see that my stuff is resting on top of the board that I use to roll my dice on so I can sit on my bed when I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. It has my notebooks that I take notes in, my player's handbook, this has all my character sheets in it, and uh, this box has dice and figurines. So um, we're going to be playing in uh, probably about 40 minutes or so. so. I thought I'd get a quick start in on this project and then play D&D &D for a few hours. And uh, then I'll check back in with you guys on how far I get on this new start, hooray! All right, I'll see you later. So I set my Q-snap down just to thread my needle and uh, this is what happened. You guys, cats are cats. Cats are cats are cats are cats. And now she's uh, chewing on my pattern. Danny, don't eat that. No, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, guys, I gotta move the cat so I can stitch. <laughs> Goblets. 
and he passes one to you. Right. Well, I, I bought them. They, we've been through a lot. We deserve a drink. You deserve a drink, right? Thank you very much. Yeah, I really for you, friend. Thank you. Hey there, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little special extra clip that I made for you guys. I was very sweaty for it, so I hope you had a good time. I thought I might as well show you a, a close-up video or, or a more, yeah, a closer-up video of my black Philip head. So this was my Halloween costume last night. As you saw in the stitching video, I have a whole fursuit for it. I have boots that are made out of high-heeled boots. Um, I like you know, thigh high, and I have hooves and the little pantaloons with the tail and a furry jacket for the, the top. But this is, of course, the piece de resistance, the head. Um, so he has three different lengths of black fur on him. And uh, I see through these little mesh ports here and then through the mouth a little bit. And the mouth has springs. And a hinge so it actually can open and close when I open and close my mouth and even the eyes I painted myself and the horns are actually made out of masking tape wrapped around tin foil so cheap lightweight um, was my goal <laughs> then he has a little bit of leather around his nose and in his ears I think he turned out really awesome unfortunately last year in New York City Halloween it was 70 degrees so while I wanted to go out and have a good time with Philip here, um, it was far too hot, so I ended up back home by nine o'clock and sitting on my couch like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is Black Philip, and uh, now that I've shown you guys him, given you a little introduction, I'm going to get back to stitching his sampler. Do you think I should? Okay, I will. <laughs> See you guys later. All right, I'm checking in with you guys for my day 10 progress on this project here, the Witchy Stitchers, Wits Thou Like to Live Deliciously, or as I'm calling it, the Black Phillip Sampler. And here is where I got. Oh, Rhaegar, that's not very helpful. You guys, what am I gonna do with this boy? Okay, so here is where I got. I did the top border and uh, the two little tree shapes. <laughs> I'm using Anchor Black and this Carrie's Creation thread right here called Hearts on Fire. And look at this cute little cat skeleton needle minder. I love this. It is sparkly too. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. I had some fun last night uh, stitching as Black Phillip. And that's a kind of fun to be able to say that Black Phillip did a few of these stitches up here. But anyhow, that's my progress for the day. I'll see you.